Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injection Molding Skills and more. Today we're going to go over Mold Protect. How to set Mold Protect and the three critical steps on setting Mold Protect. Like what the three things are. So your three things are your start position, your end position, the speed and the pressure that you want it to close up. And then how to make sure that it's actually working correctly. Like you can put a runner in there or something to keep it from closing up on it to damaging something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out on the floor, show you a press that we have and how it's set up. And then I'll come back in here, show you on the board a little bit of how to do like your fast close, then your slow down, then you go into mold protect. So I want to show you what mold protect is because you got to understand the press is expensive but the molds are more expensive. So you think about it, you're spending $150,000, $200,000 on a mold. So if you damage that mold over time, it's like taking care of a car. If you don't change the oil in it every 3,000 miles, what happens? That mold gets tore up. So let's say you close up on a part, you crash it, you have to get it fixed. Over time, you do that so many times, that tool's junk. You might as well just have a giant paperweight. So. I'm going to go over a couple things with you guys and let you see that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So stay along. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're right back out here on the floor. I wanted to show you guys a press that we use on the floor. This is an Engel 300cc controller. It's a wing tech actually press, but I wanted to show you this. So your controller right here shows you the close, then it slows down. Then you go into this yellow part right here is your mold protection position. So what I did is I closed it. It's showing you right here, mold protection, because it closed up, I have it slowing down too slow. So what I did is you gotta come back into that one area where the mold is, and you change the speeds and pressure. So you're going, your speed and pressure are critical. So you're going from the speed here all the way down i'm at 0.98 is where i started mold protect and i finished mold protect at 0 0.05 inches so that's where you want to be at so what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the mold to close up onto these leader pins about this far away and then that's where you start your mold protection at so what happens is, is whenever you close this thing up you want it to close up slow down right before the leader pins and then open back up so if you put something in there that'll automatically make it to where it can't close up so that that number your speed and your pressure are critical so right there you can see it's going fast all the way down to 0.98 is where i start my mold protect at 60 percent on on the speed then i drop all the way down to 20 percent this is this be your force right here so this is inches per second and then this is just velocity okay like this is inches inches like where you're actually at their position i mean guys i'm sorry and then this would be a force so you can see right here i went from 75 percent or if the force to 50 to 30 then to 20. up here the speed i went from 80 all the way down to 60 then down to 20. So it changes that screen, okay? Each press is a lot different, so it depends on what press you're on and what what you're actually working with changes all the time. I'm gonna show you one more press and then I'm gonna go back to my office and show you some stuff in there. Okay, so we're at another press, okay? So this is a Cincinnati and this is an Enduro controller. So I wanna show you the steps on this one. So here you have fast close, it comes across, slows down, then drops into mold protect. If you look, there's a stage one, stage two, then you go into your mold protect screen right here. You can see the pressure is 149 up here, it's 1494. You're dropping down to 149, then your inches per second, or where you're at, I mean, this is your inches per second, three inches per second, down to 2.5 inches per second, real slow. Then you're actually, this is the position you're starting at. So you're starting at 1.5 inches away from the mold, and then you're finishing at 0 0.201. And you, know, you got a timer on here of five seconds. So 
If it doesn't make that in five seconds, the mold will automatically open up. You want to keep that number as low as possible when you're doing your mold protect time. So that is one thing you always want to try to do, okay? I'm going to go back to my office, guys. Okay, guys. So before I go to the whiteboard, I wanted to tell you guys. Now, you, remember, you got three different scenarios on setting your mold protect. So the first thing is, is determining when to start your mold protect, like before the leader pins, before the horn pins. The second step you'd want to do is where you want it to end. You want it to end at mold touch position. So wherever your mold touch position is, it could be like 0 0.05, it could be 0 0.3 or 0 0.03, it could be anything. Then you want to determine your speed and your pressure of what you want it to be. You always want it to be, the most critical is the pressure. So you always want it to be the lowest you can always get it to be, okay? So I'm going to go to the board and I'm going to show you the different steps like fast close, slow close, and then mold protect, okay? So follow along, I'm going to take you guys to the board. Okay guys, we're back in my office. I hope this don't fall off the stand. <clears throat> okay, so what I wanted to show you is how that mold protect works, okay? So... Let's say you're coming across. So this be fast close. Okay. This here would be your slow down. So slow down. Or they'd say this is second speed, first speed. Okay. And then this last little bit right here, this is going to be your mold protect. Okay, um, so what happens is, is let's say you go fast, real, real fast, then you slow down. Your slow down is always going to be your leader pins or guide pins on the mold, or it's going to be whatever's sticking out. So let's say you have a horn pin that's sticking out farther, right before the mold, like the halves come together. You always want it to be about an inch away from that. That'll be your slowdown. <clears throat> if you have this going too fast, what'll happen is you have what they call inertia or whatever they call that, where this is going so fast, it'll blow by your slowdown point. So sometimes you got to back it up a little bit. So this position here would be a little bit farther back. So like on your horn or on your guide pins or leader pins, you always want it to be about an inch to two inches away. That way it gives you time to slow down before you get onto those. So if you're going too fast, and let's say you just run right up on it, you just keep on going, you'll blow right past it, then your mold protect won't even start. You see what I'm saying? So you want to slow down, then have your mold protect start. And like you said, you might be your slow down might be 20% here. Then once you get into mold protect, it'll only be 5%. So <clears throat> remember, mold protect saves your mold big time, guys. So um I don't know what else to tell you except for I hope this video helps you guys out a lot. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, let others know about this channel. Um, it's supposed to help out anybody in injection molding. I do know some blow molding, extrusion. Um, I just, I'm more of an injection molding guy more than anything. So thanks again for supporting the channel. Till next time, peace guys.